Hey, this is Nick the Mining Book Guy. It is very early in the morning on Monday, June 25th, 2018. And I'm really going to try to make this a shorter video today. Kind of like a little bit of a, more of, more of a vlog of this is what I'm doing with my money right now because I'm obsessed with discovery and with near-term catalysts and I've got a couple companies to present. I will uh, go through them in sequence and again, We'll try to keep it short, but uh, this uh, there will definitely be some follow-ups. First company, Mako Gold, MKG on the ASX. I'd guess very few people listening have heard about this, but you might have if you were paying attention to one of my previous videos on Sarama Resources where I mentioned it at the end. I uh, gave a little bit of a negative connotation. Scratch all of that. Super excited about this company and the main reason is this news that came out late last week that I think a lot of people missed, probably, again, didn't even know the, the company existed. Uh, this is the Napier Gold project in Ivory Coast or Côte d'Ivoire. I'm going to say Ivory Coast because that's how we say it here in the U.S. and keep, to keep it simple, but um, they are the uh, synonymous. And these are high-grade uh, intersections, new discovery, uh, some of them have pr uh, pretty good widths. The best one, 26 meters at th uh, 3.85 grams per ton uh, near surface. Uh, even with the higher grade, uh, you know, narrow, narrower intersections, uh, the residual grade is still pretty good. I believe it's over uh, two grams per ton. And uh, you know, this this is neat because this uh, is just the beginning. You know, this is a a. a diamond hole that uh, with visible gold that hasn't uh, been assayed yet but i think this is a grade a property uh, that again few people are following and there's there's a five kilometer area that is definitely going to get uh priority uh drilling for follow-up there's a lot going on here but what we need to do is is give you a quick summary of you know why this is great value and how you can research it more yourself before I make another video and you know get more excited about it. Uh, here in this uh, pre-IPO PowerPoint, company IPO'd in April, two million dollar strategic investment from Resolute uh, Mining, which uh, adds some credibility. Uh, Perseus is a partner on this Napier project, so you got two mid tiers that add credibility. Uh, at twenty cents, there was a uh, the the IPO had uh, one option for every two shares, kind of similar to half warrants at thirty cents. So di somewhat dilutive, but not over the top at all. About sixty three million um, shares outstanding, fifteen million options, so a fully diluted uh, seventy eight million. This is very good for us Australia, especially you know Canadian people who bug me all the time about Australian uh, bloated share structures. Uh, the uh, market cap, you know, still trading around here, 13 million, but you know, fully diluted, 15 or 16 million Aus Australian enterprise value under 10 million. That that's all great, uh, but uh, it's even better because of the discovery, and the discovery took place again at the Napier uh, Gold Project. Even though it's not their only project, I love this comparison with the Lul Lulu Mining District, which is the flagship mining area uh, in Mali for Rand Gold. And this is true green fields over here in, in um, Ivory Coast. This is, this can be overwhelming. Uh, and even for me, you know, I'm not that technical. Uh, I've, I've stared at this a lot and I know how some of this is going, but I there's a nice little video with the, uh, um, the two people who run it, Peter and Ann Ledwidge, who happen to be married and have previously run um, exploration programs at Orbis Gold, which if you don't know that company, uh, you may be aware of the Natugu or Bungu project, which is going into development for Semifo, and it's an outstanding mine in Burkina Faso. Well, Anne ran the exploration program for that, and Peter ran um, another program. Long story short, these guys have serious credibility and listen to them talk uh, for about a minute in this video. And why are we in Cote d'Ivoire, Burkina Faso specifically? 
Well, three reasons. We think they're underexplored compared to other jurisdictions in West Africa. There's a clear modern mining code in each country, and the governments are very supportive of mining. In order to get our three projects, we sifted through over 100 projects before we acquired these projects. The criteria we used were good geology, structure, and the presence of artisanal mining sites. The artisanal mining sites indicate the presence of gold and present a shortcut to discovery. Our flagship project is the Napier project in Cote d'Ivoire. We acquired that through a farm-in and joint venture agreement to earn up to 75% by taking it to a feasibility study. We have 12 notional drill targets, which have up to six coincident anomalies. 29 kilometers of soil and auger anomalies, high-grade rock chip samples up to 59 grams per tonne gold, over 11 kilometers of gold mineralized drill trends from significant shallow rab drilling gold intersections, artisanal mining sites, favorable host rocks, and proximity to regional faults and their secondary structures. We currently have a geology. And if you want to watch the rest of that video, it's only three and a half minutes, uh, scroll down, find the link, and all the links I'm uh, sharing here today, you can find them that way, do your own research. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is exciting because I say grade A management, grade A project, but even better with this exciting discovery and you don't have to pay up for it right now. This is why you're not seeing this video, uh, you know, within the, the next day of me recording it on June 25th. You're probably not going to see this for at least a few days, if not a week or two, because I'm still buying shares and we'll see if it catches on. This is not a very liquid stock and I'm, I might be hoping to get more, but it's competing with my attention with Adriatic Metals. ADT on the ASX and some similarities, but some big differences because this is getting a lot of hype, a uh, well-deserved hype for um, some, you know, blockbuster drill holes. And, you know, this one in particular, this was uh, the first major drill hole since the IPO. Coincidentally, their IPO was around the same time as uh, Mako Gold. You know, North Americans pay attention to this Notice how much more excitement's on the ASX than on the TSXV. You you, you got to be exchange agnostic, um, and some people some people are starting to realize it more, um, you know, for various reasons. But you know, these are two of the best reasons. Lo great great gold, silver, some copper, a lot of zinc. Uh, I think barite. I mean, basically, polymetallic, very rich ore. Uh, this is in Bosnia, an emerging jurisdiction. Uh, you know, there's there are surely lots of risks involved, but this is rare to see uh, that type of, you know, intersection, especially with the tr true wits that are, um, you know, I mean, yeah, you, you're, you're building a lot of high grade tonnage here. And I have to give a huge shout out to Pamplona Trader. Uh, you know, the key thing here is that you don't actually have to do that much of your own de due diligence. You should, but for me, it's it's such a different process from Mako Gold. Where Mako Gold, um, there were some smart Australians who directly or indirectly led me down the path where I, um, you know, got the tip to take a closer look, and I did a lot of my own due diligence. I called Peter Ledwidge, talked to him for over an hour. Hopefully, I'll get to talk to Anne at some point. I mean, that was that was huge. But with Adriatic. You know, everything is on CEO.ca or on Hot Copper, and there's so much information. And, uh, you know, again, shout out to Pamplona Trader, shout out to Mineralized, um, shout out here to Luke Ten Have as, as well. This is kind of fun, neat uh, cross pollination. Uh, I wanted to bring this up. The Pamplona Trader um, posted this just an hour or two ago. Um, he really has gotten the key point here. It's not about huge scale, it's about high value rock and who cares if it's relatively small tonnage this um, I mean I've bought into the idea that this is um, sh probably should be worth at least 200 million if not 300 million Aussie like really like I, I really believe that and I was chasing this thing and I feel lucky that I was able to buy a pretty good shareholding right Again, competing with my Mako Gold, like so, I I've been trying to raise money, you know, here and there. But I've got a pretty good position with a cost average just under forty cents. So I'm a little bit in the money right now, though I'm surprised it's, uh, you know, not, not trading higher. Uh, 
you know, again, contrast with Nico Gold, where you have barely any posts. Uh, you, you have to do your own research at this stage or, you know, listen to someone like me, but I'm not, you know, very open to, to sharing it because it's such an illiquid stock. And that's, that's just how I go about things because I'm, I'm paranoid that other people are going to be buying instead of myself. You can see I made the only post in the Mako Gold Room. And this is important. I, I was buying 90% of the shares in this stage when no one else cared. And, or, and so that I can do that with Mako Gold. But uh, yeah, no, with Adriatic, it's a whole different ball game. Uh, a lot of trading. N nothing wrong with this. It's just totally different. And I'm just happy to be on board with uh, both stocks. Uh, also important, to definitely read this article. One of my favorites from um, my buddy uh, PhotoJ at CEO.ca. We, we should chat more often because I, I really love his uh, his new blog here. Uh, he did 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 this the right way. I wish um, I could write this well, and I wish I thought as quickly as he did. Basically. I'm a step or two behind Photo J, and I think he just, we're kind of on the same page, but he has a better cost average. You must read this, try to apply this in the future. And uh, my other buddy, uh, Dirk Diggler, he's got this great article about, so so Medgold, MED on the TSXV, also an exciting discovery, uh, but what you read in the article here and then you know doing your own research, the thing is when I compare it to Adriatic and when other people compare it to Adriatic, uh, you know, it just doesn't match up as well. If it was, if it was its own discovery, I probably would own shares right now. The key is that this area looks like it's well mineralized. You know, good, good intersections. Thirty meters, two grams per ton, three grams per ton, some silver. But will hole six and seven? Will that um, show good min mineralization? If it does, who knows? Maybe I would buy in at that point. But that's this article helps you understand that and show you the excitement that's going on in the industry. And then, like I said, Mako Gold is super exciting to me as well. Uh, so much more that I can say, but again, I got to keep this short. Uh, oh, no, one other thing. I, I, I really wanted to give the shout out to Sask Express. You know, thanks, buddy, for, for mentioning me in, in this group of people. And he didn't mention stateside. I, I just want to add stateside totally fits into this. You can pause this video and read this. But this is what everybody should do. Everybody should be learning from everybody else. Um, you know, whether we – there's just so much you can pick up on at CEO.ca and at Hot Copper. So, uh, yeah, more from me, especially on Mako Gold in the future. But uh, this is a really exciting time to be interested in the industry. Don't listen to the people whining about, you know, like, oh, this industry is down in the dumps. No, this is the time to be doing the research. And whether whether you're looking for the Mako Golds or the Adriatic Metals, they're both super exciting. Those are my two top near-term catalyst picks. But I have a bunch of other discovery plays as well. And, hey, let's have a rocking summer. Let's let's see some, some more serious discoveries and some multi-baggers. I'm, I'm up for it. Um, you know, keep following my channel and these sites. This is Nick the Mining Book Guy. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.